What is up guys, welcome to the very first player review from this team of the week on my channel. We are going to be looking at who I think is the most expensive gold player from this team of the week. And we packed him yesterday, which was completely insane. We got those, we got that loyalty point and at the same time, he's a center attack in mid. How does he feel in that position? Is he good just like last year? That's what we're going to find out. If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get you coins, check out battlelake.com. The link will be in the description and use the code ETONY to get 5% off. If you guys are looking for PSN, and cards, Microsoft points, or cheap games, check the link also in the description. So, Santi, I tried him out, obviously, as a center attack in mid. First game, big, big difference to the team. He made a huge difference. So, if you've been trying him out as a left mid and you like him, uh, definitely you would love him in a center attack and midfielder role because... In my opinion, he is the best center attacking midfielder in the Premier League. I have tried De Maria, tried Rooney. Rooney is a really good one as well. But I don't know. He just seems so awesome. And the best thing about him is his attack positioning. He's always making runs, always there when I really need him. And over the top through balls, this guy acts like a third striker. This is something that I really love about him. Free kicks. His free kicks are deadly. I scored a really nice one. Hits the post and goes in. But seriously, just like real life, his free kicks are pretty damn deadly. Finishing in the penalty area, even though in his in-game stats, it shows he doesn't have that great of a finish. He's not a great finisher. I would say because of how great his shooting is, and at the same time, how awesome his dribbling, it just makes it so easy to finish with him and get past the keeper. Especially when you can just borrow it past the keeper very very awesome player five star weak foot i couldn't even add the amount of pros this guy has on my pros list because i ran out this guy's got five star weak foot so you could use anything and that basically means he is going to be so clinical in the penalty area because it doesn't matter which way you're going to cut in which foot, which foot you're going to shoot with he is going to have that the same amount of power on both legs now at the same time he is awesome to pass and cross with if you take corners with him you're gonna have to expect a couple of your strikers to head it in now as everyone knows corners are nowhere near as disgusting as last year but if you curve the corners with santi it just makes them a lot easier for your strikers to get in i don't know i scored so many uh, corners with santi just because of him just curving it in he must have amazing curves so after I looked at his in-game stats, he has 88 curve, which is pretty insane. So that is probably why. Now, passing and crossing, we already talked about that. But finesse shots, there's a really awesome finesse shot where one of my players just lays it off to him. And he doesn't even move. He just, he just finesses it while just standing. And it goes into the back of the net. Now, when it comes down to shooting, you will definitely be able to score some nice long shots with him. But you're going to have to try a bit harder than other players because his shot power isn't the greatest. Yeah, I think he has 80 or 81. So, as you guys know, it would be at least a bit better if he had 86, 87. So, the shot is a lot harder for the keeper to save. But he is definitely capable of scoring long shots from short range as well. His shots are just so powerful. Just make sure you know how to do them right. So, does this guy even have any cons? No, not in my opinion. He is the best center attack in midfielder in the Premier League. Try him out because he is definitely worth all the coins you're going to put on him. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Let me know in the comment section below who would you like me to review next. And Casola gets a perfect 10 out of 10.